Hello everyone, welcome to my class. In today's class, I'm going to cover solving the systems of linear equation using matrix equations. So let me start the class right away. First, some basic definitions. Identity matrix. Identity matrix is a square matrix containing ones down the main diagonal and zeros all other entries. For example, here, this matrix here, the diagonal entries are ones and other entries are zeros. And we denote the identity matrix by capital letter I. So here, the first um, identity matrix is of size 2 by 2, 2 rows, 2 columns. So we denote here the identity matrix by I2, the 2 is suffix here. Or sometimes this is also written as I and the suffix is 2 by 2 here. Similarly, the 3 by 3 identity matrix is, is here. The diagonal elements are 1's and all other entries are zeros. Note, for any square matrix A of size 2 by 2, we have A times identity matrix equals to I times matrix A equals to the matrix itself. Next, matrix multiplications. For given matrix A of size M by R, here is M is rows, R is columns, and matrix B of size R by N, so here R is rows and its column. Uh, the matrix multiplication is possible and their product AB is a matrix of size M by N. So here, if you have the first matrix uh, columns equals to second matrix rows, so here is the RR, then we can find the product of the matrix and in the matrix product turns out to be the matrix of size M by N. M by N. I hope this makes sense to you all. For example, let me multiply two matrix here. So here, let me give you the quick example of matrix multiplications. Uh, we use special uh, product ideas here to, to find the multiplications of two matrices. For example, the one matrix is of size 2 by 2, whose entries are 1, 2, 3, 4. Another matrix is of size 2 by 2. The entries are A, B, C, D. And we multiply in this way. You first multiply horizontally and then multiply vertically and we add these two results. For example, 1 times A, here, A, plus 2 times C, plus 2 times C. Similarly, in these positions, we multiply 1 times B and we multiply 2 times D and add them. So, B plus 2D. Similarly, in these positions here, we need to multiply 3 times A and 4 times C and then add them. So, 3A plus 4C. Similarly, in this space here, 3 times B plus 4 times D. Great. I hope this matrix multiplication makes sense to you all. Now, let's do example 2. Multiply the matrices. So, here. One matrix is of size 1 rows and 2 columns. That means 1 by 2. And the other matrix is of size 2 by 1. 2 rows one column. So we can find the matrix product. The answer is multiply first horizontally and then vertically and add those two results. So here 3 times 2 plus 5 times 4 turns out to be 6 plus 20 equals to 26. Part B here's a matrix of size 2 by 2, another matrix of size 2 by 2, so we can find the product. So here, the next step, so here's our matrix turns out to be again of size 2 by 2, so here, 3 times 2 plus 5 times 4, 3 times 2 plus 5 times 4. Similarly, in this spot here, 3 times 3 plus 5 times 5, 
which is here. Similarly, in this is part here, 2 times 2 minus 1 times 4 here. In here, 2 times 3, then minus 1 times 5. Oh, this should be negative sign here. It's a minus there. So 2 times 3, 2 times 3, and then plus and times again minus 1 times 5 turns out to be minus. So this is minus here. So the final answer is here is a 26, here is a 34, here is a 0, but this number is different. So now this number is minus here. So 2 times 3 is 6, and minus 5 times 1 is 5, so 6 minus 5 is 1. So let me hide 1, 1. So then, now that's correct. So our final answer is a matrix of size 2 by 2, whose entries are 26, 34, 0, and 1. Great. So I hope this makes sense to you all. Now let's move on. Next, the inverse matrix. Given n n by n matrix A, if there exists another n by n matrix B such that the product AB equals to the product BA equals to the identity matrix of size n, then the matrix B is called the inverse matrix of A and is denoted by B equals to A inverse or A equals to B inverse. Clearly, the product of A inverse and A is turned out to be the identity matrix I. If an inverse exists, then the matrix is said to be invertible, otherwise the matrix is called singular. Next, quick remark, for invertible 2 by 2 matrices, there is a special formula for computing the inverse instead of using matrix multiplications as follows. So the formula for finding the inverse of 2 by 2 matrix for given 2 by 2 matrix A whose entries are A, B, C, D its inverse is denoted by A inverse so A inverse equals to 1 over the number A times D we multiply this diagonally and we multiply this diagonally and we subtract the second product from the first product so here is A, D minus B, C and by the way this later turns out to be the determinant of matrix A. And times the matrix here. We construct this matrix by switching the positions here, this diagonally, so AD becomes DA. And this diagonally, we simply multiply by the negative sign here, so minus B minus C. So I hope this makes sense to you all. So then let me summarize. So for given 2 by 2 uh, matrix A with entries A, B, C, D, its inverse is denoted by A inverse and is defined as A inverse equals to 1 over determinant of A times the another 2 by 2 matrix here. This matrix is formed from the given matrix, this diagonally. We just switch the positions and this diagonally we simply multiply this diagonal entries by the negative sign. Great. So I hope this idea makes sense to you all. Now let's move on. Let's do example 1. Oh, here is a numbering kind of a messed up. So I did example 2 here. No, this should not be the 2 here. But okay. So now it should be an example 3, but it's 1. Okay. Don't worry about this numbering here. So example 1, find the inverse using formula of the given 2 by 2 matrix A. So given matrix is here, A equals to, the entries are 5, negative 1, 3, 2. And our formula is here. So then by this formula, the A inverse is denoted by A power negative 1, then it equals to 1 over, multiply this diagonally, so 5 times 2, 10, and multiply this diagonally, and subtract this product from the 
first product. So, 5 times 2 minus 3 times minus 1. So, 3 times minus 1 is minus 3. Then by formula, this plus 3. So, 10 plus 3 is, which is here, 13. And times another 2 by 2 matrix here. So, this matrix we formed by the uh, given matrix A. Just multiply this diagonally by negative 1. And this diagonal simply switch the entries. So, here 5, 2 switches to 2, 5. And this diagonally we multiply by negative 1. So, 3 becomes negative 3 and negative 1 becomes positive 1. I hope this one makes sense to you all. Then the next, let's simplify. So, 1 over 13 and times the matrix is 2, 1, minus 3, 5. Great. So again, you don't need to write the plus sign in front of the number, um, but here just to distinguish to the given matrix A and then the construction process of A inverse, I wrote plus th there. Okay. Next, let's do example 2. Demonstrate that B equals to A inverse by showing the product AB equals to BA equals to identity matrix where given matrices are A here and matrix B here. So, let's begin the solution. So, let's multiply the, these two matrices here. So, A times B equals to, this is the matrix A times matrix B. Then, we perform the special um, multiplications here. That means, we first multiply horizontally entries and then multiply vertical entries and we add them. So, here 1 times minus 9 plus 5 times 2 which is here. And then here 1 times negative 5 plus 5 times 1 this entry. And now this entry here negative 2 times negative 9 plus negative 9 times 2 which is here. And by the way the plus times minus becomes minus there. Similarly, here, negative 2 times negative 5, then minus 9 times 1. I simplify, it gives us the identity matrix of size 2 here. Similarly, let's find the product B times A. So, here, this is the B matrix, this is the A matrix. Again, multiply the same idea as earlier. So, next step here, negative 9 times 1 minus negative 5 times negative 2, which is here. Similarly here, negative 9 times this 5 and plus negative 5 times negative 9, which is here. Similarly here, 2 times 1 and plus 1 times minus 2. And this last spot here, 2 times 5 plus 1 times minus 9. Simplify it again gives us 2 by 2 identity matrix since product AB equals to product BA equals to identity matrix I given matrix B is the inverse of given matrix A. I hope this makes sense to you all. Great. Now let's move on. Next, solving systems of equations using matrix method or matrix equations. So the idea once rewritten the systems of equations into corresponding matrix equations, Ax equals to B, where A is the coefficient matrix, X is the variable matrix, and B is the constant matrix, then the solution of the system is then given by X equals to A inverse B. So the idea is here. So first for given equation systems convert to the matrix form a x equals to b then multiply this matrix equations both side by a inverse which i did here then a inverse a gives us the identity matrix then i x means x equals to right hand side is simply the a inverse b so now this is our formula so to find the solutions that means x equals to we multiply the B matrix by the inverse of matrix A and A is the coefficient matrix. Now let me implement these ideas and 
solve the example. Example 3, write the systems of equations as a matrix equation. So first let's write the systems of equations into the matrix equations. So here, given system equations, so three equations with three unknowns, here the unknowns are x, y and z. First construct the coefficient matrix, so this coefficient matrix is simply the coefficient of x, y, and z is a 3, 1, 1, 3, 1, 1. So next row here, coming from the second equations, 1, minus 2, 3, 1, minus 2, 3. Similarly, the third row in the coefficient matrix is constructed from the coefficient of third equations here, which is 2, minus 3, and 5. 2, minus 3, and 5. So this matrix is the coefficient matrix. Similarly, construct the constant matrix. The constant matrix is the matrix of this right hand side is constant. So here is minus 2, 1, 3. Now, the system in terms of matrix equations, A times X equals to B. So coefficient matrix A we found here times matrix X equals to, let's assume its component are these unknown variables x, y, z and equals to b the, the constant matrix here which is negative 2, 1, 3. So now this is the matrix equations of this given system of equations. Now example 4, let's solve the system of equations using matrix method. First let's talk about two equations in two unknown systems here. So the given equations are x minus y equals to 5 and 2x minus y equals to 2. Let me scroll down. That's better. So first, let's rewrite the system in matrix equations. So here, the coefficient matrix is 1, minus 1, 2, minus 1. 1, minus 1, 2, minus 1. Let me do this way. And x, the variable matrix x is coefficients x, y equals to the constant matrix B is just the matrix of this right hand side constant 5, 2, 5, 2. Then next find the A inverse. So A inverse equals to by formula 1 over A D minus B C. That's a formula. That means we multiply this diagonally. So 1 times minus 1 is minus 1. And we multiply this diagonally, 2 times minus 1 is minus 2, and then subtract the this diagonal product from this diagonal product, so minus 1 plus 2, which is 1, so this one is here. So 1 over AD minus BC times the matrix formed by switching this diagonally, just to switch the positions here, minus 1, 1, and this diagonally, simply multiply the, this diagonal by negative 1. So this becomes minus 2, this becomes plus 1. I hope this makes sense to you all. Then, this is simply 1 over 1 is 1, 1 is multiplicative identity, we don't need to write 1 here. So it's then simply the matrix with entries minus 1, plus 1, minus 2, plus 1. Great! So we found the A inverse, so then our solutions, so now here is in the formula here, in the formula, so we found the inverse. Now our our um, solutions are, means x equals to, the, multiply the constant matrix by the A inverse. So here, now we have the A inverse. So our solutions here, then the matrix x equals to, the matrix with component x, y equals to this A inverse times the constant matrix whose entries are 5, 2. So next, let's multiply these two matrices. So here again, we use the special operations to multiply the matrices. We multiply entries horizontally, multiply entries vertically, and we add these two results. So here, minus 1 times 5 is minus 5, plus 1 times 2. Similarly, minus 2 times 5, minus 10, plus 1 times 2, 2. Simplify, it turns out that the matrix x equals to the matrix with entries minus 3, minus 8, 
So then two matrices are equal if and only if the corresponding components are equal. So this implies x equals to negative 3, y equals to negative 8. So now these values are the solutions of these given systems. I hope this makes sense to you all. So now let's move on. So next, let's talk about a determinant of square matrices. A uh, determinant is a number associated with a square matrix. For 2 by 2 matrix A with entries A, B, C, D, the determinant is denoted by simply DIT A. This DIT A means the determinant of A, and this is also denoted by the A inside the absolute value here. That's the absolute value. So that means determinant of A equals to determinant of the entries A, B, C, D and this equals to we multiply this diagonally and then we multiply this diagonally and we subtract the second product from the first product so that's what this plus and minus means so multiply this way that's a plus and multiply this way that's a minus okay so this is simply A times D A D this minus formula and then C times B simply PC. So the determinant of A turns out to be simply AD minus PC. Great. Next, for a 3 by 3 matrix A, so here the entries are A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Then the determinant is denoted by D A equals to absolute value of A equals to the determinant of the matrix A and here we expand the determinant along the first row we start from plus and then we switch the sign minus and then we switch the sign plus so here along the first row that means the plus A here then we cross out the rows and columns containing the A, so that means we cross out the first row, we cross out the first column, then what left? Here is a E, F, H, I, E, F, H, I, the 2 by 2 determinant left. The next, the next term is negative B, because I told earlier we need to switch the sign, plus, minus, plus. So that's the formula, minus here, so minus B, then cross out the rows, and columns containing B, so the first row gone, second column gone, so we have the 2 by 2 determinant of D, F, G, I, which is here. And in the next term, so plus C, then cross out the columns containing C and the rows containing C, so here the first row gone, last column, means third column gone, so we only have D, E, G, H, D, E, G, H, that's the 2 by 2 determinant, and we know how to expand the 2 by 2 determinant, what we did here, with this idea, great, so then it turns out that the determinant of given 3 by 3 matrix is here, E I minus H F here D I minus G F here D H minus G E and multiply by C here, multiply by negative B here, multiply by A here. It turns out that the final result is determinant of three by three matrix A equals to these terms here. I hope this makes sense to you all. Great. Next the alternative idea to expand the 3 by 3 determinant is by Saras rule. The Saras rule is only applicable for 3 by 3 matrix. In Saras rule, augment the curves in matrix A with the first two columns, then add the products in blue diagonal below and subtract the products in red diagonals shown as below. So here, this is the 3 by 3 determinant. So we are joined the first two columns here. So this is the first column, this is the second column, and we multiply according to this diagonally. First multiply this blue diagonal, which is A times E times I, A E I, A E I, 
then add another blue diagonal result add another blue diagonal result so here aei plus bfg plus cdh and then subtract put minus sign then this product multiply this way uh, i mean according to, to this red diagonal here so here g e c so minus g e c minus h f a minus h f a minus i d b minus i d b by the way these two turns out the same forms here great so i hope this makes sense to you all now let's move on now let's do example five compute the determinant of two by two matrix so here matrix is here with entries 5 4 3 negative 7 then solutions determinant of a equals to determinant of this matrix of size 2 by 2 with entries 5 4 3 minus 7 the next step to expand this uh, determinant we multiply this diagonally and we multiply this diagonally and we subtract this second product from the first product so here so 5 times 7 is 35 minus 3 times 4 is 12 oh wait a second there's a minus sign here so 5 times this minus so 5 times minus 7 is minus 35 and this minus from formula 3 times 4 is 12 so then minus 35 minus 12 your answer turns out to be that's a typo minus uh, 47 minus 35 minus 12 is minus 47 so this is a typo so the answer is minus 47 great next let's do example 6 compute the determinant of 3 by 3 matrix given matrix is a entries are 2 3 6 0 6 2 1 minus 1 minus 2 let's begin the solutions so the determinant of a equals to the determinant of a given matrix and we are expanding this determinant along the first row here so we start from plus and then we switch the sign plus to minus and from minus to plus so here so the plus 2 then we cross out the rows and columns containing 2 so here cancel the first row and the first column then we have the 2 by 2 determinant so 6 2 minus 1 minus 2 6 2 minus 1 minus 2 I hope this makes sense to you all the next term then minus 3 cross out the first row containing 3 cross out the second column containing 3 then we have the 2 by 2 uh, determinant here 0 1 2 minus 2 0 1 2 minus 2 in the last terms here so then plus 4 then cross out the first row third column containing 4 we do have the 2 by 2 determinant of 0 6 1 minus 1 which is here and we can easily expand this 2 by 2 determinant now so the last line here so plus 2 then multiply this diagonally 6 times minus 2 is minus 12 and then minus from formula minus 1 times 2 is minus 2 so minus minus plus so that's a plus 2 there similarly the next expansion here minus 3 as it is 0 times minus 2 is 0 and minus from formula 1 times 2 is 2 plus 4 as it is this is again 0 times minus 1 is 0 1 times 6 is 6 so 0 minus 6 simplify it turns out that the answer is negative 38 great so next let's use Sara's rule to expand this 3 by 3 determinant so here in Sara's rule we are joining the first two columns here so this is the given 3 by 3 determinant this is the first column this is the second column we are joined here and we multiply this way this diagonally first this blue diagonally blue diagonally blue diagonally and we add all the results in blue diagonals and subtract this the product of this red diagonal we multiply along this red diagonal 
multiply along this red diagonal, multiply along this red diagonal, and you subtract from the results of the blue diagonal. So here, 2 times 6 times minus 2, plus 3 times 2 times 1, plus 4 times 0 times negative 1. Then from the formula, minus, now along the red diagonals, I need to take a product. So 1 times 6 times 4, 1 times 6 times 4. Next, minus 1 times 2 times 2. So here, minus 1 times 2 times 2. Next, minus from formula, minus 2 times 0 times 3, minus 2 times 0 times 3. Simplify. It turns out that this determinant equals to negative 38, which you already found in another methods. Great. So we finish these sections. In the next class, we'll talk about solving the systems using uh, determinant and Kramer's rule. Thank you.